we set out a couple of years ago uh, to really refine our processes as it related to player development, recruiting, um, and even game management. So, you know, basically what we're trying to do with the information we're trying to gather and how we're trying to apply it is to make, it, it's almost like an environment where we're giving the answers, uh, giving the players the answers to the test as it relates to their player development or even getting on the field. So, you know, whether it's through our, our quality at bat scores, whether it's our anti-quality at bat scores for the pitchers, our quality base running metrics, our, our Rapsodo, the information we get from our Rapsodo units, our blast motion sensors, and all the other things that we use and other, um, you know, ways that we gather information. What we're trying to do is create a very objective, results-driven environment where guys understand what it takes in order to develop to get themselves onto the field. Um, and that's really where I think Alex impact comes in. You know, over the course of the last, uh, you know, even the last calendar year, uh, the, the speed at which we are improving our processes and streamlining the things that we do has just, it's been incredible. And I directly relate that back to, to Alec and the work that he does and how creative he is with, with the information that we have. Uh, so my name's Alec. Uh, basically, uh, you know, I was a player here for three years, right? After my third year, uh, Coach Wright came to me with the opportunity to join the staff. Um, and you know, I took a little bit of time to think about it. I took the Christmas break vacation um, when I finally realized a few things. One, uh, you know, I'm not good enough to stay on the field, right? Which it is what it is. Everyone's got to face it at some point. So I figured, why not start putting the work ethic that I have into further in my career? Um, and in that moment, I decided I want to stay in the game of baseball forever. Um, and I'm super grateful for the opportunity to join the staff. Um, and now in my second year on staff, I have the title of player, uh, Director of Player Development, which I think is awesome. Uh, we got some really, really, really cool stuff going on here. Um, whether that's relating back to our quality at bats, anti-pitcher, quab, everything, that, those lines, stuff we're kind of experimenting with, um, I have the opportunity to basically be a frontier for this type of stuff. Um, and with that, we're trying to find the right balance of staying ahead of the curve and not overcomplicating things, right? We can't necessarily think of the program at the big league level simply because it's the big leagues, right? We don't have the manpower and we don't have the amount of technology and information they do. But there's no reason why we can't start to begin to think that way. So basically, what we're trying to do is equate the big league level of analytics to the NCAA Division II level. Um, and what, whether that's through like our quads mentioned or anything along those lines, um, we are trying to gather as much data as we can to not only put our best lineup together, but to give everyone their equal share of opportunity and to give them justification whether they are or aren't in the lineup. Um, you know, for me, I would have liked to have known earlier what what I was good at, what I wasn't good at, things that you miss with the naked eye, right? So it's a little close to my heart that I want to get this this information of these guys, simply because I've been there. I get it, right? And I care about these dudes. Uh, you know, I, I want to give them every opportunity they, they can get. Um, and with that, we got with some other cool stuff going on uh, related back to Rap Soto or Blast Motion. Um, really cool tech that's coming out that's basically you know space age compared to the classic baseball. Um, and with that, the accessibility to everything you have for the player themselves is huge, right? So we, we put everything we have on the player on a Google document. They have direct asset access to it and they can look at it whenever they want. They can see the receiving numbers or their quality of bat numbers, their velos, um, and you know basically anything they want. Uh, quality base running, any, anything along those lines. Um, and now that we have a nice little space in the attic, we have the hitting wrap set up always set up here. Guys can feel free to come and swing on it whenever. We'll have wrap set up pitching in our bullpen sessions every day. Um, so basically just some really cool stuff. Um, and also working directly with the catchers, you know, being a former catcher myself, I have had the opportunity to learn from some very educated people in the baseball world about catching, receiving, um, all those lines. And it, it's really, really cool to be able to not only work in the analytic part of baseball, but to be able to own, own, uh, direct that back straight onto the field and with the guys I work with every day.
Right now we're in like our daily portion. Uh, we're at the catchers right now. Uh, so we call them daily, right? Because we do them every single day. So basically our, our thought process here is to pack the pack basically as low to the ground as we can. We're at the work on low, uh, low fastball, right? Below about 19-ish, uh, I can pack my three high and as a pitcher. I'll well, just kind of lift the blow into the zone. And just as anything else, because you want to BP before your game or anything, you need to. Last one! Uh, you need to get loose with the receiving level because it's a field thing, right? Um, so, we're just doing our dailies every day before the scrimmage and before practice or anything. So, um, basically, Get the guys warm enough to be able to get the most pitches that we can. Uh, we're kind of rebuilding our receiving weapons this year. Um, I'll do some things that I've learned over the past few months. Um, a couple weeks in now. And it's going pretty well. Our guys are taking through pretty well. They seem to like it. Uh, they get a lot better at it. It's a short time. So it's a really good kid to watch right now. Catch your pops with the hack. We're about to use that one. Right now we're doing our in-game vlogs. Uh, runner just stole a bag, so I'm gonna go into my phone into our Google Doc and add his stolen base to our quality base running metric. Real quick. So basically, just how we talked about earlier, each and every AB is going to have a different value, right? So uh, we're in the second inning right now, and we can watch the results of Jesse Elliott's AB right here. Uh, we have a key where we feel like it is justifiable, where everything it has um, a negative positive value. Um, just like how, how we looked on the sheet earlier, I'm in the process of going completely paperless um, and finding a way to. Uh, directly input the data into the system that will automatically shoot as a number of the total quality ABs of the hitter and it will automatically go into the metric with the pitcher and the catcher associated together. Um, so, you know, just finding every reason to have a guy in the lineup and to give everybody a fair fighting chance um, and justification why they are or not are, are or are not in the lineup. Um, so. We'll watch the rest of Jesse Elliott's AB. Colby Johnson just stole third, so he's going to get another two points for a quality base uh, quality base run. So, barrels, we got a five in the quad score. We like those. So, come a few days from now when we have this uh, metric made up, we'll be able to see the real value of this and give him a numerical value that we can kind of take away batting average and all you know, these standard statistics and kind of get in people's heads. What you're to see, the uh, drill we call two pitch. Uh, Basically, it is a competitive version of BP, where there is a num numerical value assigned. Basically, basically, it's a competition to see who can score the most points, right? But in our scrimmages, we have two separate teams. So the two teams that played today, everybody can get two pitches uh, for the situation that they're in. So we have got things like score them, to the ba uh, backside, start a rally, basically get on somehow. Uh, so on and so forth. Uh, so the defense has ways to score and the offense have ways to score and basically it's a good way to create competition between our guys, right? Um, and then a good way to add justifiable batting practice at the same time. Instead of it just being for reps, we're actually adding some sort of competitive atmosphere and you know, just fun to it. All right, so we got two pitch going on right now. 
Uh, like I said, just basically a competitive over batting practice. Uh, we're not looking to win a score on round. So there's a runner on third, and the goal is to literally just get him in, right? For every time a runner scored, it's, a point, it's one point out of the team's score. Uh, defensively, you can also score by turning double plays, so like throwing a guy out of the play or whatever. Um, so you want to take a look real quick. Uh, right there, thin score run, doesn't get a point. Right. Hey guys, thanks for checking us out. Um, really hope what you were able to see really uh, emphasizes our value on player development here. Uh, we're really excited with the next few months have to come before the season starts. And in due time, we hope to be the best school in the country at making our, play at making our players the best they can possibly be. Uh, so thank you guys. It's been a treat.